Hey, I'm Josh. You're about ready to watch Kyle finish fluting his handle. This is part three. I'm getting ready to sand the final grit on this uh, fluted handle. I've gone through 220 grit, 320 grit, 600, 1500, and now I'm getting ready to do the 2500 grit. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit of my method. It's been the same for every grit, so you didn't need to see it all. This, this is the exact same process I went through for each one. But I like to do a little trick here. That's to take this powdered graphite and spread it all over the handle. I can really see where I've sanded and kind of see the previous grit scratch marks and stuff. Because I have to keep going the same direction. It's not like I can change directions down in the flutes. So this really helps me see what I'm doing really well. So I just like to take a little bit, spray it on there, take a paper towel, and just rub it in all the flutes. This really gives a nice visual indication as you're sanding on uh, when you can move forward and when you've got the previous grit scratches out. So uh, without that, I would have to just probably over sand all over the place just to make sure I did it all. But with this, it's just really helpful. All right, so what I've got here is my handy dandy sanding stick. I've used this thing for many hours and I've got it tapered and layered with a, a layer of tape. And that gives it just a little bit of cushion as I'm sanding, makes it so it's not so hard and abrasive and it just cushions things out. And the reason I need it tapered is because these flutes, like across here, are really narrow, but because this handle isn't perfectly round, the flutes actually open up on the edges and get really wide, and then they go back narrow again and they get real narrow at the ends. So I need a tapered stick to get in there like I'll sand on this area down in the narrow spots and then right here where it's like really open, I'll use this uh, wider area. So I just take it and uh, hold my paper on here at the desired, uh, desired area and just start sanding. And I normally have to pull it against the side wall here just lightly and then I also have to push it against the far side just a little bit in order to sand the entire groove. Once my paper gets filled up a little bit, I just roll the paper over to a clean spot and uh, do it some more. Normally by the time I have the graphite sanded off completely, it's sanded all the previous grit scratches off too. It takes a whole lot of sanding. Each grit's been taking me somewhere around two hours or so with probably a little more time actually on the final grits just because really trying to make sure I don't miss anything at this point. So there you go. There's one little tiny spot at the finish sanded grit. After I get the whole thing sanded, I'll take it over to the buffer and lightly buff everything to give it a really nice finished polish. After the buffing, we'll be ready to put the 24 karat gold wire wrap in. I will see you in a couple hours. Cut to time lapse. I've got the handle sanded at last. It took forever. It is looking absolutely drop dead gorgeous though. So the next thing I'm gonna do is spend a few minutes over on the buffer with a really narrow buffing wheel. I'm gonna buff out each one of these flutes just lightly though, because it's already sanded to 2,500. All I gotta do is really lightly buff it and uh, it'll have a, a finish on there that we like. After that, I'll take uh, Take my small triangular file and I'll touch these grooves up that the wire goes into one last time and uh, make sure they're all the proper width and then we'll start cutting grooves and stuff up here on the top for the wire to wrap over the end of the handle into. We're almost ready for wire guys. 
Pretty much all we have to do now is get the ends of the handle ready for the wire. So I've got the grooves on the sides of the handle ready for the wire, but I want the wire to wrap over the end, go down through a hole and be hooked onto the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this dental burr and make a little tiny groove for the wire to go into. I'll take the drill press and drill some holes on an angle and that'll allow the wire to go down into the tang slot, hook onto the ivory and have a nice tight mechanical fit. Doing this first one is always super nerve wracking because it feels like you're on the verge of just destroying everything. I've been sitting here for like five minutes trying to build the courage to start cutting on the first groove here. <laughs> Things can go bad quick with this thing. So now I want to show you how I put the wire in the handle and show you kind of how the mechanical fit thing works that I talked about earlier. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate with this piece of silver twisted wire and uh, later after I show you guys I'm going to put gold wires, eight gold wires in here. So what I've got is some little grooves for the wire to sit in up at the top of the handle and the bottom and then there's a little hole right here where the wire goes into the tang slot. Once it's in the tang slot, I bend it up like that and hook it, physically hooking it onto this little piece of ivory. And then I made some, made some little grooves inside of the tang slot for the, the wire to go off to the side so it won't get in the way of the tang going in there. So once it's hooked on there, I would normally put a little bit of super glue in there just to hold it in place. It doesn't need super glue, but uh, it just helps hold everything still while I'm wrapping it. And then, uh, then just start pulling the wire tight all the way around the handle. And once I get to this end, I would cut off my wire, a little extra long, and then stick it down in that little hole. And here again, you can see it popping through the, the tang hole. Then I take these skinny pliers and I grab it. I push down really hard and it pulls the whole wire really tight. So push down, keep pressure on it, and then hook it back up. So you can see here it's physically hooked onto the ivory. So this wire is nice and tight. The only way this wire could loosen is if the handle material shrinks a little bit. So you gotta keep the handle material oiled down every few months with some mineral oil. Otherwise it could shrink a tiny bit and then the wire would become loose but as long as that doesn't shrink, the wire will be really tight. Uh, sometimes I put a couple little drops of super glue going around the handle underneath the wire, and that just helps um, ensure that the wire doesn't move too much, just in case the handle material shrinks a bunch, if somebody wasn't taking care of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. So I gotta do eight strands of gold, just like that, all the way around here. Only I'll, I'll, I'll be careful to pull them nice and tight as I go along.
thanks so much for watching. If you want more content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.